Hi there, my name is Kogu Kingsrud. Uh, if I sound a bit hoarse, that is because I'm recovering from a cold. I also got my hair cut earlier today, uh, and that is why it looks like this. But we're not here to talk about my hair, nor my voice. Um, today I am making a trans-related video, which I feel like I haven't done much recently in a bit, which is entirely purposeful. But today I wanted to make one nonetheless, because I got uh, a DM on Instagram early this evening, which read, Hello Kovu, I don't know if you will answer this, but I will try. I'm looking for help. Help with my anxiety. Recently, I'm on a path to HRT. But closer to it, my fear and anxiety skyrockets. It came to a moment when I felt terrified. I don't want to become someone I won't recognize, but I feel in my guts testosterone is for me, though I feel terrified. Did you, did you feel any of this? How did you de decide you're starting HRT? Thank you. And the reason why I wanted to make this video was because I felt that message in my soul, because that is exactly how I felt. When I was about to start testosterone, um, two years ago, I started testosterone a year and seven months ago, I think. And um, I am under the impression that a lot of people do feel like this, but I feel like no one really talks about it. And the reason why I didn't talk about it was because I was really scared that people on the internet would call me a trender and uh, that they would tell me that I wasn't actually trans or that starting testosterone would be a mistake for me, or I was even scared that having these thoughts at all meant that I wasn't actually trans. And I brought this up with my therapist at the time, and I was really scared to do that because my therapist was helping me get to testosterone, and I was scared that bringing up any doubts would make him think that I wasn't actually trans. But he told me that he'd be much more worried if I wasn't anxious about starting testosterone at all, or that I wasn't even a little bit worried, because what that would mean is that I didn't, I hadn't thought about it enough. And he said it is perfectly normal to feel this way. Uh, and most people feel this way. And uh, thinking back now, it really makes sense for me that I felt so anxious because, um, in general, I kind of struggle with change, and last week, I mean, I made a 20-minute video rambling on about change and how to deal with that and deal with anxiety regarding change, uh, and so it makes a lot of sense for me now, looking back, how I was really anxious about this. Um, because when you see people online talk about their transition and talk about, um, like, starting testosterone or being on testosterone, it often feels so far away, especially because a lot of these people, I've noticed at least, uh, live in America, or some in the UK, but most of the trans YouTubers I've watched, um, or most of the YouTubers talking about testosterone and being on HRT, um, live in America, and maybe that's also a component for why it feels so far away, but to me at least, seeing all these people online talking about it, it, it felt so far away. Of course I wanted it, I wanted to start testosterone, but it felt so far away, it felt like it would never actually be me. And then suddenly I was at a point where I was standing in the middle of it and I realised how real it was and that's what scared me so much. Because here I was talking to a bunch of medical professionals about putting a hormone into my body, getting medical treatment, for an identity that I had just figured out a few years before this. Um, so of course you are scared, because for me at least, I actually wrote down a whole list of reasons why I was scared and reasons why I knew I needed it, and perhaps I'll go through that at some point. Um, but what was I saying? Um, I don't know, I was just, I was really, really scared because this felt so real and I was scared that I would regret it, and uh, as this person says, I was scared I wouldn't recognise myself. Because my goal with transitioning to male wasn't to become as much of a man as possible, you know, I never wanted to be a huge, big, hairy man, and some trans guys want that, and that is, that is fine. But all guys are different, trans guys as well, and I've always been kind of a, kind of 
scrawny, not so big, hairy guy. And that is the way I wanted to stay. I didn't want to suddenly, um, like, I don't know, just become a huge, huge man with huge muscles and lots of arm hair to the point where it looked like I had fur and, um, like, a huge beard that was out of control. And I, I didn't want any of that. Um, and... Although, thinking about it now, it sounds stupid, because testosterone won't change you that much unless you really work for it. But if you are a fairly scrawny guy, to begin with, and you start testosterone, and you don't, like, try to work out and all that stuff, you're gonna stay a pretty scrawny guy. You're just gonna have more male characteristics. Um, but yeah, I was really scared I wouldn't recognise myself. Um, but at the same time, I was really really struggling at the time with dysphoria and it was really bad to the point where I was really suicidal and the thought of starting testosterone was the only thing keeping me alive and it was this conflict in my mind because on one side I was really scared of all the changes because you never know what will change you know like you'll know kind of some things that will change in certain ways but you don't know how your body specifically will react to the hormone and how you'll turn out. You you don't know how your voice will be. You don't know how your face will be. Um, it'll most likely, like, your face at least won't change, like, drastically. Like, you have a sharper jawline and stuff, but you won't become a different person all of a sudden. But you don't know how you're going to turn out. So, on one side, I was I was really scared because of all of that. But on the other, I was struggling so much with my voice, with how I looked, um, that I also knew I couldn't stay at the place I was at that moment. Um, so I want to say that feeling scared is completely normal. Uh, and it is a normal part of the process. And of course you're going to feel scared. It's a big, like, life changer. Um, what I do want to say, though, is that if you feel anxious to the point where you start really freaking out and you feel you have a bad feeling in your gut then I say stop there is there is no shame in just stopping taking a moment to breathe taking some more time to think if this is really right for you there is no shame in that even if you have talked to your parents and begged them even if you have talked to medical professionals and you're just about to start testosterone, there is no shame in saying, wait, I need a second to think about this some more. That is absolutely okay. And I know it may feel difficult to do that because of expectations and stuff like that, and maybe you even send yourself into an identity crisis, but it really is for your own good. Because it is a big, it, it does change you and it does change things. Um, not to the point where you won't recognize yourself, unless you don't have dysphoria and start it. Um, but even if that happens, even if you start it and you realize, shit, this was a mistake, that is fine too. You know, if, if you realize that maybe this isn't right for you, then that's okay. It isn't a life or death situation. If you start it now, you don't have to be on it for the rest of your life. Of course, don't go around, um, like, if you figure out it's not right for you, then don't believe that it isn't right for anyone. Um, because for some people, like myself, it absolutely... It just saved my life, and I desperately needed it. But everyone's story is different, and what's right for some people may not be right for some other people. What makes some people feel better may not make other people feel better, you know? Everyone has... Everyone's different. Um, but just know that it is completely okay and completely normal to be scared. I was really scared, but I also knew that I desperately needed this. So it was scary and it was intimidating and it was a lot. And it was so scary that it felt so real because I was so scared that I had confused myself or that it wasn't the right choice. Um, but I can tell you now, after being on it for one year and seven months or something like that, it is absolutely right for me. But at the same time, I think I have a fairly open mind. 
So if I get to one, and I, I want it to stay that way, I want to, I want to have an open mind, I don't want to put any pressure on myself. So if I do get to a place in the future where I feel like it's not right for me anymore, then I'll just do something else, you know? You don't have to do anything, it's your life, and you fully decide what you're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I addressed most of the things I wanted to say. I never write a script or anything for my videos, which you'll probably notice, because I ramble on a lot. Um, but yeah, it felt kind of good to talk about that for me as well, because I haven't really... I don't think I've addressed that before. Maybe I have, but um, I really hope that that can maybe make some people out there feel better. So, if you have any more topics you'd like me to talk about, then please let me know in the comments. Um, really, I think I'd like to get back on YouTube a little bit, because recently I haven't really put much into it, but it feels really nice to make videos that can help people. It's just that I'm having some issues with my mental health at the moment, so I don't always feel as motivated to make videos um and trans videos specifically i kind of have an issue with sometimes but that's my problem uh that i have to deal with um so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope it was helpful for some of you and i tried to keep the speed of my words down uh in this video because i'm under the impression that the person who messaged me that isn't a native english speaker and i know i can speak a bit fast sometimes so yeah, hope, hope that helped. So stay safe and eat drink and do not hurt yourselves. And remember that you are so much more than you could ever realize. Seriously, um, have an amazing week. And thank you so much for watching again. Bye.